For many years, and still in use today, is the paddle machine for wet processing socks. These simple machines are capable of processing large poundages. Their simple design is especially useful for scouring and bleaching, and can be easily loaded and unloaded. These machines are not, however, the best choice for dyeing. Because of the large amounts of water used, the energy needed to heat that water for the dyeing process, poor agitation of the socks, and longer cycle time. Paddle machines consist of a revolving paddle wheel that sits in an open vessel filled with water or a processing liquor. As the wheel turns, the veins dip down into the bath and cause the water to tumble inside. Any socks in place are forced to move under the veins, which in turn causes them to tumble in the bath. This video shows a centrifuge basket lined with a sling being brought into position in front of the paddle wheel. At the end of the processing cycle, the machine is drained, the inner basket lifts up and dumps its contents into the centrifuge basket. The unloading happens quickly. At the end, the centrifuge basket is pulled away as the paddle wheel and its basket are lowered back into the vessel. The centrifuge basket is moved to the extraction process prior to drying. The loading of the paddle wheel machine is quick and easy. The operator loads the machine from a cardboard box filled with socks. In this trial, a total of three boxes are loaded for scouring and softening. After loading the socks, the operator loads the chemistry needed for the scouring of knitting oils, waxes, and any other contaminants. The chemicals are poured directly into the machine and the machine controller is activated. 